Second step, we're going to draw for time equals zero plus. And there we're going to find our whatever we're asked to find at zero plus and the derivative of what, whatever we've been asked to find at zero plus. In other words, we'll find, we'll find VC at zero plus and VC prime at zero plus, or we'd find VL at zero plus and VL prime at zero plus. This particular problem, since we're just getting practice with it, we're going to find it for everything. So let's draw it at time zero plus. At time zero plus, remember, we know what the voltage is across the capacitor. So since we know that voltage across the capacitor can't change instantaneously, it's got to be 24 volts, we're going to draw our capacitor as a voltage source. And we've already figured out what that is in step one. Similarly, we know what the current is through the inductor. So we're going to draw that as a current source. So let's do it. We've got our, now our 12 volt source is turned on. We define VC up here with the plus on the top. So therefore we have to draw the voltage source in with the plus on the top. And we said it's 24 volts. Let me make that a little clearer. We say that we've got a, uh, the inductor looks like a current source. We set it six amps and we define the current going down. You'll notice that we define the current uh, through the inductor and the current through the capacitor in passive sign convention correctly with VC and VL. So that means that we know that we have six amps going down. Then we've got our resistor. And then we always have 12 amps going up. Now, at this point, normally, we would just draw a single thing we want to find. If we're asked to find VL and VL prime, for instance, we would have to draw our VL right there. But we're asked to find not only VL, but we're also asked to find V2. We're also asked to find what else? VC. And we're also asked to find IL. Both, all at zero plus, both primed and unprimed. Remember, this circuit is only valid at zero plus. It's not a general circuit, totally unlike what we did for first order circuits. So just to make it clear what our different regions are. So let's find V2. We know this is four ohms and I think everything else is clear. Okay, so V2, just by Ohm's law, we know I sub L is six amps going down through four. So V2 has to be four times six, which is 24 volts. Similarly, we know that we're asked to find VL. That's gonna be a little bit tougher, right? One way to do it is to take a look at what voltages we know. We can't use it finding Ohm's law, some relationship with the six amps, because Ohm's law only works for resistors. But looking at all these voltages here, we've already figured out what V2 is, and we know what this voltage is from the voltage source. So using KVL, we can do a loop right around here. And starting at this voltage source, we get minus 24. We do whatever. Uh, sign we hit first, plus V sub L, plus V sub 2, and we already figured out that V sub 2 is equal to 24, equals 0. And therefore, solving for V sub L, V sub L equals 0 volts. So now that we found V sub 2, V sub L, and we've already found V sub C and I sub L earlier, we can write down all of our values. We said V sub two is 24 volts and V sub L is zero volts.